All right, guys, welcome back. And today's video is how to handle a run or a sag in the paint. And uh, all of us painters get them from time to time. And that's just showing that you're really trying to get a nice finish and you're pushing that product to its limits. Until you get familiar with the product, you know, you will get stuff like this to happen from time to time. And there's different things that can cause a run. So we'll go over that today. I'll show you how I handle one. So let's get into it. All right, guys, so this is that Alfa Romeo that I shot in one of my late, uh, last videos that I was doing, and you guys seen me shoot this one. If you didn't, go back, check it out. Really nice color and nice car here. This job came out really slick, and I was laying it down, trying to really push this clear to its limits because I haven't uh, you know, really used this clear that much, and I was trying to see what it'll do. So we all get runs, and there's ways to handle it. So today's video, I'm gonna show you how to do that. And we have a small sag right here. It's nothing big, it's just a small one. And this one here to me wasn't really that I probably pushed it too hard here. I think it was that sometimes when you get this area up here on the car, you can't see it that good in the booth. And you'll always try to put one more just to make sure you don't have any dry spray up here on this top of this uh, sail panel. So. I think that's what happened. I went ahead and put one more extra coat just in case to make sure that it wasn't dry and it just wanted to sag a little bit right there. You guys could see it. So once I sand this, I'll show you guys, it, you'll be able to see it a little bit better here and I'll show you how I handle it. So let's get into it. All right, first thing I'm gonna do here is tape off this black trim because you don't wanna have any uh, chances of marring this up or sanding it at all. So. Being this is right here close, and I don't want to do this with the doors open, I'm going to go ahead and tape this up. All right, we got it all taped, and now I'll show you what I do. I like to see the run, so I hit it and sand it a little bit. That way I can see exactly where it is. That way you're not sanding around the run. You want to sand just on this run and that way you don't burn it on the either side of it. So there's a lot of ways to handle this. Some guys will put putty on here and uh, sand the putty till it's gone and then it'll sand the runaway. I've never used that technique. To each their own, whatever works for you guys, but this is the way that I do it and it's been successful for me. So let's go ahead and sand it. That way you guys can see it. Now you guys can see it. It's right there. And now we'll be able to work on this without trying to get around the run. You want to make sure that you stay on the run. You don't want to get up here and be sanding this because you'll end up burning it. You want to plane this off and you want to use the coarsest grit. It's kind of like when you do Bondo, you start out with a coarse grit because you want to get it flat and then you smooth it out so you can uh, finish off the Bondo. It's almost the same way you would do that. You want to make sure you block this flat with a coarse grit, that way it levels off that run and you're not leaving a mountain in it. That way that, that run is completely gone when we're done here. So I'm gonna show you a little trick that I like to do to uh, plane it off. All right guys, so I like to use a blade when I'm shaving my runs down, but you wanna make sure that you get rid of the edges on it. Right here on the edge, you'll wanna sand that and knock down the, the sharpness on the corners. And right here I have a little 320 and that 320 will uh, knock down that sharp edge on the corner here. This isn't really crucial for this spot, but I'm just showing you to this. That way if any of you guys have to uh, do a different location, sand down the edges of your blade and uh, that way it doesn't gouge it. Now this isn't sharp here. You can see I'm running my, my uh, finger right on this blade here and it's not cutting me. so. Just the middle is sharp. So now we're gonna shave the run. All right, guys, we got our blade all smoothed down on the corners, and now you just wanna shave the run. Just where the run is, you wanna try to stay on that line. And now that you have it sanded, you can see that. So we're gonna shave this one, and this is the highest spot in this run here, this one section right here. So you wanna try to knock down the highest point of that first and stay on that high spot until you get over here to the spots that's not as uh, big as a run. So let's go ahead and shave it. All 
All right, so you can see it's working that run down and you wanna go nice and easy with it. This is an old trick that's been around a long time. This is nothing new and I've seen a lot of videos on there, but I haven't showed you guys how I do my runs and I figured, let me show you guys how I do it. So just go nice and easy and make sure your clear is hard. This thing's been dry now for a couple of days. So that's key to shaving anything out of a paint job. You wanna make sure that that clear is rock hard. That way when you shave it, you're not gonna uh, gouge the paint. So it's coming down, we'll shave it a little bit more. All right guys, you can also shave a run this way. If that run is actually a different shape and you have more of a a line going this way you're going to want to shave that run this way so go with the contour of the panel and on this one here we'll turn it now and that'll help level it off because this is a round surface and you want to make sure that you get that thing knocked down the best way that you can so i like to go straight on the run first especially in a spot like this and then here on this spot we'll go and turn the razor blade that way it knocks it down with the contour of this area here. All right, so when I do it, I like to shave it until the line is gone with the blade. Once I get that line to where it looks like it's leveled off and now it's all smooth is when I'll start hitting it with a uh, little block with some sandpaper on it. So make sure you use a block when you're sanding a rundown. You wanna make sure that your, your surface is flat and that way it'll help you uh, plane it off. Also, these are also a tool. This is a run file, and it's an actual file, a metal file they make. It's called a Vexen file, and these also plane down the runs. But on certain uh, areas, this works good. But I like to use this as a little mini block. When I'm sanding my runs, I'll take the paper and I'll wrap it around this. And this is very, very straight, so that way you know you're sanding just on the high spot. So. I'll start out with a thousand grit and then we'll uh, sand this down and work our way finer just like you would do any other dirt nib or anything else that you're taking out of the paint and uh, smooth it down. So let's go ahead and do that. And we're just blocking it like we would block anything else, primer or even uh, body work. So block it out and I like this little small file for blocking because this is metal and it's as straight as an arrow. So. We'll block it with a thousand and then we'll step it down. And we're just using water here. So you guys can see now that it's all smoothed out and it's flat. The run is gone. And if you look from the side while it's sanded, you can see if it's still in there or not. So it's definitely gone. We hit it with a thousand and now we're just gonna refine the scratch and polish it up. We're gonna hit it with 15 now after the thousand grit. And the same thing, block it. Make sure you block it because you'll still knock that down even more now with that 1500. And now we'll block it one last time with the 2000 grit. And I'm gonna polish up 2000 on this just to show you guys. You can refine it more, hit it with 3000, 5000, the Trizac and all that. But this 2000 here in this location is fine. So we'll finish this thing here, rubbing it down, refining it, and then we'll polish it up. So now you can see that that run is completely gone. And uh, we'll go ahead and now and polish it. All right, we're using the Perficate 3M white with the white foam pad on the mini buffer to start out with. Just smooth that around, that way you don't sling it all over the place. Make sure you keep compound on it. You wanna keep this lubricated and uh, that'll keep you from burning it. You want compound on the, in between the pad and the body. That way you're not burning the paint because it'll get hot if you don't have any compound on there. All right, we'll wipe it off and look at it. And then uh, we'll hit it with the uh, black and the blue and this will be all finished up, so. You guys can see it's gone. And uh, that's how I handle my runs. So this wasn't a big one at all. And the more you know, experience you get with sanding runs out, you'll definitely be able to take out any location. So I'm gonna hit this now with the black and the blue, and uh, I'll show it to you guys finished up. And that's the black pad with step two 
for the perfect system. And so that's the step three of the same system with the blue pad. So let's see it all finished up now and see how it looks. Make sure you clean it off good and get all your compound out of the cracks because this stuff will definitely dry up and uh, make a mess if you don't get it away right away. So you guys can see it's gone and that's how I handle a run. So to me, I'd much rather deal with a run then deal with a dry paint job all over the place and have to sand and buff the whole car down. So there's definitely a thin line and this was just a small little sag because I was pushing this clear trying to see what it'll, it'll handle. So there's clears that'll snap quick and they won't run, but this is more of a glamour clear. So it likes to flow out. So you really got to get the feel of it. And once you do, you'll get that clear in a spot where it'll just flow but it won't run and you'll know how hard you can push it and all that stuff is based on distance speed what size head you're using in your gun and all stuff like that so just get familiar with your products and know how far you can push them right to the edge to where they won't run so this is definitely a product i haven't sprayed in a long time and i was dealing with a faster clear that likes to snap quick but i do like these kind of clears better that flow out. So once I get this thing dialed in all you know perfectly, we'll be laying them down just to that point to where it won't run, but it'll flow out beautifully. So until then, we may get a run here or there, but like I said, it's much better off having a small sag than having to buff a whole car out that's dry. So push the clear, see what it'll do, and then you'll know the limits of it. And that's with anything that you get into in life. You gotta know the limit. That way you can just back off a little bit. So I hope you guys like this one on how I handle a run and uh, we'll see you on the next one.